So you want to mean Amaterasu, the shining light. First, ask yourself, why do you want to mean Amaterasu? Amaterasu is pretty fast and she can even make her allies faster. She can survive nearly everything. She's that hard to kill. She has a self heal. It's pretty neat. Her ultimate can be so frustrating to deal with as an enemy player. But before you choose to main her, it's good to know the cons of Amaterasu. She's not hard to play, but to make her the most effective, you'll need to understand what is needed in each situation. Amaterasu is a smart Japanese warrior. Smart has classified her as an average god, and I find her average to play, but can be hard to play effectively. If you're an experienced Amaterasu player, or you just love playing her, feel free to leave any tips down in the comments below. In this guide, we're exploring Amaterasu in support and solo, going through her abilities, attack cancelling, combos, builds, counters, what not to do, and general combat tips. We'll be going through this guide from a conquest perspective, but don't worry, you can easily implement this guide into other game modes as well. With that, let's go through Amaterasu's abilities. Amaterasu's passive, Illuminating Strike. Amaterasu illuminates enemies she hits with basic attacks. After three hits on the same target, the enemy gains an aura. This aura exposes their weaknesses and causes them to take more damage from all sources. Any other enemies that come near the afflicted target are weakened as well. Straightforward passive puts a lot of importance into her basic attacks. A good way to use this, especially in a team fight, is to get the passive off on one enemy and then all the surrounding targets around that enemy should be affected as well. Amaterasu's first ability, Divine Presence. Amaterasu's one is a buff ability type. Amaterasu will heal herself every second for four seconds. This will create a persistent aura that buffs nearby allied gods. Every time this ability is activated, the aura will switch between Valor and Benevolence. Benevolence grants movement speed, which is great for traveling, chasing, escaping, etc. Valor grants bonus power, which is great for team fights, fighting, and aggression. I would recommend staying in the movement speed aura when you're being chased down. However, some people will switch again just to receive the heal per tick. So stay in the movement speed when being chased if your health is fine. However, it may sometimes be beneficial to receive the heal, especially if an ally comes to back you up so then you can turn around and just fight the enemy. Do remember that this buff does apply to your allies as well, so it's really, really useful. Amaterasu's second ability, Heavenly Reflection. Amaterasu's 2 is a line ability type. Amaterasu charges her mirror for 5 seconds. While the mirror is charging, she takes decreased damage. By activating the ability again, or at the end of 5 seconds, she will fire her mirror straight ahead. This will deal damage. The mirror can be charged by successfully attacking enemies or from taking damage. It can deal up to double the base damage when fully charged. This is great to use in situations where you want to take decreased damage, so team fights, engagements and escaping. This is Amaterasu's main damage and clear. Amaterasu's third ability, Glorious Charge. Amaterasu's 3 is a dash ability type. Amaterasu shines light that silences all enemies in front of her. She then will dash forward while dealing damage, piercing through minions or stopping at the first god hit. This ability is her main escape and engagement. Amaterasu's ultimate, Dazzling Offensive. Amaterasu's ultimate is a cone ability type. Amaterasu focuses the power of heavens into a three strike combination attack. The second hit will do 20% more base damage and slow enemies. The third hit will do 40% more base damage and stun enemies. She must hit an enemy target with each hit to progress the combo. This does not mean the same enemy, each effect will work as long as she hits an enemy in each hit. This ultimate is extremely nice in team fights. Now let's get into the leveling priority for Amaterasu's abilities. For the first 5 levels, at level 1, her 1, at level 2, her 3, at level 3, her 2, at level 4, her 1, at level 5, her ultimate. For leveling priority, her first ability for increased heal per tick, movement speed and bonus power, her second ability for increased self damage mitigation, mirror damage and full charge damage, her ultimate for increased damage per strike, her third ability for increased dash damage. So basically, one, two, four, three. Attack cancelling on Amaterasu. Attack cancelling allows for some extra damage. Basically, if you watch closely, it will cancel out some of the animation and go right into another basic or ability. 
This gives you consistent DPS and it's not mandatory to learn if you don't want to. I don't really focus on AA cancelling of Amaterasu. I find that her attacks and abilities are pretty fast in general, so with that, we'll jump onto the next subject. Combos for Amaterasu. Before we get into combos, a few pointers. In a way, all of her abilities are great to use for escapes and survival. You can use this to your advantage when in a bad situation. You want to make use of Amaterasu's basic attacks. Remember that her second ability can be charged from taking damage and dealing damage. Most of the time, you want to be in benevolence when escaping and chasing, anything to do with mobility really, and most of the time, you want to be in valor in fights, team fights, clearing and engagements. And of course, if you just need to heal, switching just for the heal is fine, but make sure you're in a suitable stance for each situation. I just want to point out again, remember to use her basic attacks, and remember that you can fire her second ability early. You can use your third ability to engage, close the gap, or chase after enemies who are getting away. Combos for Amaterasu you can do are basic to basics, activate two, ultimate, fire two. This combo is great to secure the damage of your second ability when you successfully land off your stun. To do it with the stun, fire it right after the stun. Combos are a bit situational for Amaterasu though, but the basic guidelines for her combos are her ultimate is situational, you can follow up these combos with her ultimate, your third ability can be used to close gaps and engagements, make use of her basic attacks, and switch to Valor Stance when attacking, and switch to Benevolent Stance when chasing the enemy. Builds for Amaterasu Builds always depend on what kind of enemies you're up against. My builds in these videos are just a general guideline. You can adjust accordingly depending on your game and situations. As this is a support and solo guide, builds will really vary and depend on each situation every game. For support, you could go Guardian's Blessing, Reinforce Greaves, Oni Hunter's Garb, and Sovereignty. Switch the order of these two depending on what you need first. And then depending on what you need but not limited to are, you can go Spirit Robe, Talisman of Energy, Mantle of Discord if you find yourself struggling in teamfights, Hunter of Nemean Line to reflect basic attacks, Shield of Regrowth if you want a bit more fun with your mobility, Pestilence for anti-heal, Winged Blade. For solo, you could go Warrior's Blessing, Warrior Tabi or Talaria's Boots for more speed, Blackthorn Hammer, Breastplate of Valor or Genji's Guard depending on what you're up against. And items you can build depending on situation but not limited to are Hide of the Urchin, Mystical Mail, Shield of Regrowth, Winged Blade, Spirit Robe, and Wingardian Mail. For Relics, Support Amma can pick up Heavenly Agility, Shell, Shield of Thorns, but it depends on what you need, it's not just limited to these as well, and Solo Amma can pick up Teleport Glyph, Shield of Thorns, Shell. Counters of Amaterasu Amaterasu's ultimate can be countered by Aegis, Beads, and Magi's Cloak being in the wrong stance at the wrong time. CC that pulls and pushes her into bad situations such as Sobek, Tia, Herc, etc. Her third ability can be easily blocked off. Guards who can keep up with her. What not to do as Amaterasu. Do not ignore your stances. Pay attention to what stance is needed for each situation. It can greatly change the outcome. Do not engage without your team being ready. You can get a great team fight off as your ultimate sets up so much. General combat tips for Amaterasu. If you're not using your first ability for anything specific anytime soon, feel free to use it just to heal yourself up, especially in the laning phase when it's quiet. Switch to your power aura when clearing in the laning phase. Amaterasu is pretty difficult to kill. Don't be scared to be aggressive. She's great at being up in the enemy's face. You can dive into teamfights without using your third ability if you have enough movement speed plus your first ability's movement aura. Remember her passive. If you can hit three autos on a target, they receive a debuff. Try to do this when you can. Learn from your mistakes. It can take trial and error on what you could have done different with Amaterasu with her first ability especially. Try to take in what situations are better for each stance and when you should risk it for the tick kill. And that is all for the Amaterasu guide. Before I leave, I would just like to let you guys know that I am moving to Australia from Germany. I was originally from Australia and I have been in Germany for about a year and a half, but it's time for me to go back home. 
which means that the videos for the next maybe few days to a week to two weeks i'm not too sure maybe off schedule as i do need to get a new setup when i get to australia and i also will be in the process of finding a new place etc hopefully that all goes smoothly but i can't make any promises that the videos will be up very consistently for i'm not sure how long but it shouldn't be very long so if i can't make a guide i will be trying to put in videos that are not still smite maybe i am going to be adopting some kitties so i would love to show you guys how you know cute they are and stuff but yeah hopefully i can get another one out asap stat but if not i'll see you very soon if you'd like to request a god guide or simply just to support me you can find a coffee donation link in the description box below let me know what god you would like to make next in the comments subscribing and likes would be super rad Clicking the bell really helps me out. I hope to see you for the next one. Bye.